I've noticed an uptick of inquiries online regarding camera strap setups and options. And people are particularly asking about what types of camera strap setups there are that work well with tripods. And so I wanted to go ahead and record a video to discuss at least my, my ecosystem, or at least the way I have my camera straps set up for my camera bodies. So very quickly, everyone knows what a two-point camera strap is. Most cameras have camera, ta camera strap attachments on both sides of the camera, so you can hook up the camera strap that's included with the camera, and you can run this on your, around your neck or whatever, on your, you know, just usually on the center of the body. Um, some people put off the side, but it's basically a two-point setup. But I've not been using two-point slings for quite some time or two-point straps. I've since I acquired the Black Rapid several years ago. I've, had, I've been running the Black Rapid for a long time, or at least I first started using a Black Rapid a long time ago. And it's a camera strap that you can run, um, but it runs, it looks like a regular camera strap except for the fact that it runs to a single point. You've got this carabiner hook system here, and it works with your camera by virtue of their fastener system, which is basically this loop that hooks up to, that threads into your camera body's tripods uh, threading to allow you to hook up to the sling or the camera strap. So if I can take this fastener system here, thread it into the bottom of the camera on the tripod uh, threading, I now have my sling hooked up to the camera in a single point scenario here. And so this is actually the most comfortable way I found to carry a camera because I can run it off to the side, bring it up to my eye very quickly and keeps it out of the way. But the caveat here, as I said, is this fastener system. And unfortunately, if you have this fastener hooked up to the tripod body, or sorry, the camera body on the tripod thread, that means you can't use it on the tripod. You have to remove it so you can put it directly on the tripod or use your camera plate system that you might be using. Also, one of the things I don't like about this fact is that you can't set the camera down flat on a surface because of the Black Rapid Fastener system. So you kind of have to take it off when you don't want it and then use it when you do. So it's not really very field expedient. I was using for a long time a Manfrotto RC2 plate system. So I had a 488 RC2 or f with the uh, ball head and I would use these RC2 plates. And the cool thing with the RC2 plates is they actually did have this little hook on the bottom that wasn't really used for load, for load bearing, but you could still hook up the Black Rapid hook to it. But Black Rapid released this Fastener RT1, which I did write an article about uh, several years back. But it basically replaces the, the screw that was, that's already in the RC2 plate from Manfrotto. So what you can do here is basically replace it with this fastener, uh, fastener T1 into this RC2 plate, then hook up your RC2 plate to your camera body. And then once you have that, you can now have a tripod plate that you can hook your camera up to the tripod. And then when you want to, you have this, already have this uh, Black Rapid compatible loop system here that you can hook up the, if I can get this to, hold still there, then you can hook up your, cam your camera strap too. So when you're cam carrying the camera, you have this hooked up. Then when you want to go run to the tripod, just release it and you're now on the tripod. The problem with this is you're stuck with Manfrotto plates, obviously. And since I ended up switching the Arca Swiss compatible plates, this became uh, a no-go for me. So I converted my Manfrotto 488, 488 to use the a really right stuff Arca Swiss clamp so that I could use really right stuff L plates. And so I have this 5D Mark III here with the really right stuff L plate. And if I wanted to use the Black Rapids strap, that means I would have to go back to using the fastener system, thread this on the bottom of the base plate, and which would basically mean I can't use my tripod until I take it off. So that kind of slows everything down again. And so what I ended up doing in 2015, roughly, is cr taking, buying this Really Right Stuff screw button or screw knob clamp 
it's a 26 or 28 millimeter, and I put a black rapid fastener onto the bottom of this because it has also its own tripod thread in the base. I, I use thread locker, put this on very tightly. It's on there very securely. It's not going to thread off. But then I have now a way to use a black rapid single point strap sling or strap onto this, and then I can put this onto the L-plate system and now have a way to carry my camera with this strap and then able to take it off and still utilize my tripod when I need to. So this is a nice quick way to have a single point sling or single point strap for your camera with Arca Swiss base plates in a quick expedient manner by which you can still use your tripod when you need to and go back to carrying your camera. Um, but as you can see here, I'm not using the Black Rapid anymore. I actually switched to a two-point sling setup that I adapted to a uh, single point, sorry. So I used this two-point uh, camera strap that I got from Echo Niner, and I made it all meet to the single point here on the Black Rapid fastener because it uses paracord. That's already, this is how it comes shipped. It's paracord because typically you'll just run the two paracord ends onto your ends of your, your camera or sides of your camera, but here I just made it all meet to a single point on the black rapid fastener. So now I basically have a single point camera strap. This is nice and padded, I do like it more than the black rapid. And then, uh, but now with this setup, I can have it all clamped down and I can use it with my Arca Swiss fitted camera bodies. And that brings up the, the new, this new Future Forward deal of the Really Right Stuff plate that just came out from, from them for the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. While I can still use the L plate, the Really Right Stuff L plate, with the clamp system that I have here, if I wanted to, and I, pro and I will, because this is my, my favorite camera strap right now, but they integrated into the system QD sockets. These QD sockets here are standard in firearms industry for use with QD sling swivels. <clears throat> so I have here a Magpul MS4 Gen 2 single point sling, which can be used as a two point setup if you want to. But it has these QD sling swivels, which are standard in the firearms industry. So they are, they come in one or one and a quarter inch width, but they all have this QD push buttons uh, type deal here that you would just insert into the socket and now you have a secure you know device on this sling and if you want to release you simply press the push center of the push button pull and you're you're free from your strap or your sling and so really right stuff integrated into this recently released L plate for the OMD M1 Mark II they have one on the bottom and one on the side so if you wanted to carry it on the side for some reason you can depending on your comfort. But this is a really cool future forward option for people. Um, this is the most recent plate I think they've released. Um, I received this on March 31st. So the QD socket integration on the Really Right Stuff L plate is not seen yet on all plates because as you can see here, this is a Really Right Stuff L plate for the uh, 5D Mark III from Canon. Does not have QD sockets. This was made five years ago, I think. I bought it five years ago or four years ago, roughly around then. So I, from what I understand, they're going to remake all their plates to integrate these, this QD system for people who want to run a rifle sling as a camera strap. And these are really good options for people since rifle slings are actually really good for carrying a lot of load and carrying it well. So this is a feature forward option for people and as Really Right Stuff starts integrating this into their plates, you might decide to go this way. And what's really cool for people who want to run this, want to keep a camera strap on the camera body while on the tripod, this is offset so you can still put this right on the tripod and have the sling still attached or the camera strap still attached. So, and you can either do it to the base plate or the L plate if you still have the L plate attached. So that's kind of cool. And um, for those people who want to run who have Arca Swiss base plates but don't have QD sockets and want to run a QD uh, sling swivel type sling. Um, I don't have it with me, but 
the Really Right Stuff did release a screw knob clamp that has the QD socket in the bottom. So you can just, what you'll do is basically clamp when you need to, uh, secure it, and you can have the QD attachment right there for those people who don't have QD built into the base plate but want to run a QD type sling. So that being said, my, I'm still going to utilize the Echo Niner strap with my sort of hack here with the Arca Swiss screw knob base plate with, or Arca Swiss screw knob clamp with the really right, or with the Black Rapid fastener system. Um, this is going to work for all my camera setups right now since uh, all my cameras have pretty much really right stuff base plates when I first bought them. So my Canon here, I have that hooked up. And this is the original, um, the first EM10 Mark II base plate that Really Red Stuff came out with. So these don't have QD sockets. So this is the most universal camera strap setup for me that's gonna work in my ecosystem. So I think for people who are running Arca Swiss uh, base plates, compatible base plates, should probably look into something like this. You basically have a screw knob clamp with the black rapid fastener and you can run like I did here, just kind of a, a camera strap hooked up to the single point part, or you can get the black or the really right stuff screw knob clamp with the QD socket integrated in so you can run a QD uh, rifle sling like that. It's kind of your option out there. Um, I do think that anyone not using Arca Swiss style plate should probably start moving over because even the most inexpensive tripod clamps are now utilizing Arca Swiss style dovetails. There are some caveats here as far as which, which dovetails are universal because Really Right Stuff dovetails are actually a little bit different than some of the other Arca Swiss style dovetails out there. But if you use the screw knob clamp, you're pretty much going to be um, safe within all regards to um, any kind of Arca Swiss style base plate. But I highly suggest anyone not using Arca Swiss to start going to it. Again, um, a lot of, a lot of tr um, tripod ball heads are now utilizing Arca Swiss. And if you have, an Arc, uh, have a ball head that does not use Arca Swiss, you can convert it over by getting your own clamp and just replacing the clamp on your, tri your ball head with an Arca Swiss compatible clamp. So that's my setup. Hopefully this is helpful to those out there trying to decide one way to run uh, tripod, or run camera straps with a tripod system, a quick release system such as Arca Swiss. I'm not really a fan of the Manfrotto's anymore. These are good for what they are, but they're not, I don't think these are great, especially when you want to use an L plate style system like this so you can shoot portrait photography or sort of um, panoramics in the portrait orientation, this is the most ideal way to go is L plates and the best L plates out there are Arca Swiss style. Um, if you have any more questions regarding this, my camera strap setup, please feel free to comment or ask questions on the video and I'll try to answer them as best I can.